Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Suraj. I'm the co-founder here at Gradvine. Um, one of the things that I've been observing on the WhatsApp group, particularly, uh, by the way, again, just a plug for the WhatsApp group, go join, we answer a bunch of questions there. But one of the things that seems to me as if it's out of whack, if I can use that term, is students wanting to apply to institutions after the first round deadlines. Today's frequently asked question is, what is the timeline for university applications? What are the deadlines looking like? And when should I apply? To answer all of these questions, there's only one mantra, always apply early. What does early mean? Early essentially, depending on the kind of degree you're applying to, either means November 15th or December 1st. Second question, why should I apply early? Why should I listen to Suraj or to Srikar or, or some guy always asking me to apply early? There's only one answer to that. Last year, and in fact, some of the previous years as well, 22% and that's one statistic that I'd like for you to remember 22% of the students that applied early with a similar profile as someone who did not apply early got in to their ambitious institutions as compared to folks who applied late and did not even make it to their moderate institutions so in order for you to make it to a really good institution the mantra seems to be have a good profile of course but along with having a good profile apply early Let's talk about what our early applications will mean for you. I'm going to cover three kinds of degrees here broadly. CS and CS allied, so that includes the master's in computer science, both the thesis and the non-thesis, and the master's in data science. Second, I will cover the information systems degree, and third, I will cover the analytics degree. These are three degrees that I'm going to cover in this video, and then pass it along to Srikar, who will probably cover um, engineering management and all of the other allied degrees that come with it. For the computer science degrees, and this is thesis, non-thesis, whatever, your first deadline is more likely to be October 15th with Uni University of North Carolina Chapel Hill if you're applying there, but most of the deadlines will start November 1st onwards. University of Pennsylvania is going to be November 1st, a bunch of other universities are going to be November 15th, and majority of the universities will have their first round deadlines on December 15th, which means that if you haven't finished the shortlist yet, and this is the end of September as we are shooting this video, you're in big trouble, my friend. You should 100% go set up a free consultation with us, sign up for our service, and make sure to finish not just the shortlist, but also all your documents in time to hit that November 1st, November 15th deadline. If you're a computer science master's applicant, keep November 15th as the critical date for you to make sure and apply to all of the universities that you're applying to. Yes, 15 days here and there is absolutely okay with December 1st and December 15th being the round one deadlines for a bunch of universities as well. But that's your timeline between November 1st to December 15th. That's where you should have finished applying to all of your universities. All right, now let's talk about the information systems degree. First of all, folks with work experience, any sort of work experience ideally within the software industry are the people that should be applying for a master's in information systems. University of Maryland, with an uh, early deadline of, of October 1st seems to be the first one for all of you guys that are applying for uh, information systems. In general, information systems uh, deadlines are slightly later than the regular computer science degrees. So December 15th could be a huge deadline for you. If you are a working professional and are wanting to apply in time, we would love to do it. We would love to help with the entire applications process and the timeline for you is between December 1st and December 15th. Take those 15 days to finish off all the applications and make sure to apply within that timeline. All right, the third degree that I'm going to cover today is the analytics degree. Within analytics, there are a bunch of degrees here and there that are called differently. For example, Purdue's BAIM program, right? Purdue's BAIM program has an October 1st deadline. If you are folks that are applying to that degree and haven't started yet, this is the this is almost the end of September. So there is very, very little time for you to target that program. But that's the first one that starts us off for the season. A bunch of other degrees, for example, San Diego, UWASH, Carnegie Mellon, all of these will have deadlines, their first round deadlines around the December 1st or the December 15th mark. So even analytics follows the same pattern 
as MIS and has deadlines that are bunched around that December 15th or Jan 15th sort of timeline. For you guys that are looking to apply to business analytics, make sure that you are finishing off all applications by December 15th at the latest. I'm going to pass it on to Srikar to do the following for engineering management and the rest of the degrees. I will see you guys on the next one. Till then, take care. So I am here to talk about the deadlines for a very popular program and that is the NEM. Now, if you do a little bit of research and in fact, I hope my editor puts the list of deadlines somewhere on the left or right on the next screen so that it's easier for you. You can take a screenshot and then print it or keep it wherever you want. Well, what you have to understand is that the deadlines for NEM programs start as early as the 1st of November. This is UIUC. Now, of course, this is a priority deadline and you have later deadlines. But if you want to increase your likelihood of getting in, then you absolutely have to apply to the priority deadline or at least the round one deadlines. For most MEM programs, the general round one deadlines start in the middle of December and a bulk of them are in the middle of January with a few like Cornell extending to the 1st of February. You will have a round two and round three which move on to March and April as well. But understand that nearly 80% of these classes are filled in round one. Therefore, if you are planning to apply to round two, it's almost pointless. Hence, it's imperative that you start hitting these deadlines a lot earlier. You also have to know that these programs get a large volume of applications. So they start reviewing these uh, applications early and give out interview calls and decisions even sometimes before the deadline. Dartmouth is one that is particularly famous for this because they start reviewing applications from the 1st of December, even though the application deadline is January 15th. So if you had to sum it up, just like Surat said, please start planning and apply early. Now is the time to add. So if the November 1st deadline popped up on this video and you're panicking about it, well, you can reach out to us and we can help you hit that deadline. Don't compromise your chances by self-elimination. Give it a shot. We'd love to help you. Schedule a free consultation call with us using the link in the description.